Hey everybody, it's the Walker. So what are we doing tonight? Well, tonight we're doing a, uh, a little hot tenting shakedown. Um, temperature was insanely cold the other night. It was pretty cold tonight. So I figured it might be a good opportunity to go on the woods, do a quick um, hot tenting, a couple days, set up a camp, maybe this is a good spot. Just to shake down the tier, make sure everything still works, take the, uh, knock the rust off after a whole season of, um, well, the season was past, so, you know, a little shake down of the gear. Not ideal, not totally flat, but I think it'll work. Keep going on this. We're all pegged out. There's a tricky, tricky spot. All these rocks, the rock right there, made it a little bit challenging. We've got um, everything but the stove set up. Got to my little camp marker. A light with a lithium uh, primary battery, double A, and reflective cordage. So we're good. I don't need, uh, it's, I would say it's um, maybe, I uh, let me think here, probably 20. 25 maybe but it's dry so it's pretty comfortable so in no hurry to um i'd much rather forage wood which is the one resource i don't have have it in the tent before you know i want to wake up with it raining and have to do that but i think that's the plan going to the going uh, around these woods Get what wood we can. Bring it back. Process some of it. And do some minor processing for others just to get it in the tent so we can um, process it at our leisure. Just crank up the stove, take the edge off. Um, make some, make some coffee or something like that. Tea. Not really that hungry. I could have a snack or something like that, but um, go about to find some wood. We got the plan. My target's, uh, my target is stuff that's, um, off the ground. This is, uh, on the ground. I don't want that. It's also, um, yellow birch on the ground. So I doubly don't want it. It's on the ground, but um, it's kind of off the ground. Oh, this part here. 
like that. You can see, you see the frost. The part that's not on the ground is good, so I'll just Oh, this is a big piece that fell. Kind of glad I'm not wherever it fell from. Oh, oh that's gonna be really good. Just drag them. Um, this looks like a. You know, it's mostly on the ground. Looking at it, I don't think it's that bad at all. It just fell very recently. Oops. Typical, very typical. Look at that. Ah. Man. Look at that. An actual grapevine. Go. This turns out to be dry like I'm hoping it is. That'll be a lot of wood. Especially uh it's especially with temperatures of not like sub-zero. I don't need You don't need to run that stove really all that hard. And these can t-shirt weather. Well, we're gonna call that um, mission accomplished. So what we'll do, I guess we'll just work on that wood for a little bit. Um, enjoy the nice night. Nothing quite as good as processing wood. Well, that's probably things better, but um, put on the gloves. Even even a little pair of gloves like this go a long way, preventing hands from getting cut. Even breaking sticks, you can get a um, you can cut that way too with your bare hands. Surprisingly, that's that's actually how I generally get cut. It's very rarely that and um, a saw bouncing and hitting my hand. Very rarely a problem with um, axes. All right, well, well, we'll start on this.
Huh, looks good. I think this wood might work out. That's a good sign right there. Get a nice split like that. Look at that. Yeah. That's tough. I think that's maple. This muzzle or I'll find it. Very nice. There's all hard work. I have um, three pieces of long cut. I do that when I'm pretty sure that I have enough wood, but I want something just in case. And we've got uh, a little bit more over here. The stuff I found on this side of the shelter, mostly off the ground. Why not grab it? You know. We'll put it all oh, probably over there is good. Titanium wood stove. I haven't burned juice since, um, was the last time I burned this one? Um, I think it was on, uh, the Appalachian Trail during a snowstorm. That may be the last time. That was in, um, gosh, was it February? Late February? I don't remember. Getting there, definitely getting there. So far, 
This is very sharp. I should probably be using um, gloves. All right. Ah. Hey, that's not bad. I've had um, worse doing that. And it's getting better with time. Here's the damper. It spins like that. And there's a uh, sparks crate. This is low, right? It goes right to the um, box. So it almost always burns clean. So you don't have to worry about changing it or anything like that. And my priorities. Are to make certain that that stovepipe is not touching those Velcro flaps. So you make sure of that. I've got uh, combustibles moved around the stove. Get the stove going. Make a, I don't know, a cup of tea or something. Maybe some uh, soup, or something like that. Ugh. I think I'm in the flattest spot for sleeping. At least that's my hope, anyways. Well, I think my standard of living has just gone up uh, tremendously. It's starting to get a little chilly out there. No clouds have moved in yet. Weather. It's not looking good today. Down to 19 degrees. Okay, um, well, a little colder than I thought. That probably explains why um, I was getting cold sitting out there. Yeah, is what it is. The stove will uh, turn it around pretty quick. Man. 
So that's the uh, t-shirt weather. We're in the t-shirt. Um, that is always the best part of hot tending when you get that, um, when that stove is cranking. I mean, just really um, throwing off piles of heat. And you can kick, kick back, um, take off the layers. Oh, it's awesome. It only takes five minutes of this to turn back an entire, you know, when you're feeling chilled and, you know, you can turn back a whole day in like literally 15 minutes. At least that's how it feels. That all encompassing heat, you know, where a fire usually have the heat in one spot and the wind's blowing on the other. Not here. It's just all around you. It's kind of like being in a house. Only this is a lot warmer than I tolerate any house. Some of that uh, wood there was indeed wet. But what will happen is as the um, as it heats up, the water will all push out, turn to steam, and it, it will combust. As long as there's a good coal base. No good coal base, that wouldn't happen. It wouldn't burn. This is really cold weather though. I wouldn't want um, wood in that stove with that much moisture. But for this, it might actually work out good for me. Might slow down the burn. Could be advantageous, we'll see. Most of that wood is gone. The other piece is incinerated. I threw in another piece. That one there is no longer spewing out moisture, so damper wood, good coal base. This is gonna be um, pretty hot. stove. I think maybe a little oatmeal before we go to bed. That'd be good. Getting ready to turn in for the night. Just going to inflate my pillow. There's a definite hill here going that way. But a little, um, at least I'm hoping that's kind of a flattish area right here. At least that's my hope. I don't want to slide into that stove. But it feels good. We'll see how it works out. Wasn't a bad night. Not too, too cold. I was pretty comfortable. Did not slide down towards the stove even though I'm a little higher than the stove. So that was good. We'll get it going. Maybe we'll um, make something for breakfast. I'm going to walk around and stretch the legs a little bit. Huh. Old, uh, old tree stand. Take parts of it. I can feel the moisture uh, building in the air. Well, I might as well grab some wood while I'm out walking around. If I see anything good, I'll pick it up. But we got plenty. Stuff here. I don't want anything by these hemlocks. It always uh, sparks up, trashes my stove. It does feel nice out though. Must be um, 
It stays this temperature. It'll be real nice sleeping tonight. Well, it was nice sleeping last night too, though. I had no complaints. Very comfortable. This right here is my uh, always my primary concern of the woods, though. Plastic hemlock failure. Snaps. Boom. You don't want to be anywhere where that happens. And hemlock will eventually make a nice punky wood. Button down pretty good for the night. Some leaves kicked around the uh, base of the uh, shelter. Not that I'm going to need it, but it'll keep on any drafts so I can run the stove even um, even slower. You know, a little light up there. We've um, pumped up the wood a little bit. There's no way I'm going to burn through all that. I've got the uh, Lisi light out. We'll run this a little bit. This, um, I think it's eight hours of sun gives seven hours of light on low. Or something like that. So it kind of fulfills my um, desire to have a perpetual light. When I'm hanging it, I don't bother. When it's cold, it's difficult to play with that valve, so I just leave it out like that. There we go. Let's crank up the stove. I'm getting kind of hungry. All I had to eat was that um, that soup last night and that punch. That was about it. Oh, uh, the oatmeal too. I mean, that's why I'm not <laughs> I'm not really really hungry. Oatmeal tends to hold you for a while. But let's get going on uh, cooking and running the stove a little bit. Our food bag. Very good.
Yep. Yep. It's done. Let's see what we got. One of my favorites, um, because it's quick to do. Good. Excellent. One of those things um, I like to do is saw down pieces of wood. Not that I like this, I guess have to. Which were a bit too long. One of the pros of having a uh, larger firebox is there's less work in actually processing the wood if each piece can be cut longer. It's less cuts. But of course, that doesn't apply if you screw up. <laughs> you know? How's this one look? It's a pretty long piece. That'll fit no problem. So we just go through the pieces really quick. The hand that most likely will get injured when you're sawing is the hand holding the wood. So I'll bounce off, hit. This alone would be enough to easily cut me. So I kind of prefer to uh, saw. This hand can be free, but this hand. That one looks okay. I got all this long cut here too if I run out of wood. How's that look? Uh, I bet you that's okay. Well, we just saw it down really quick. There we go. fuel over here then if the wood gets low how's this looking this looks like a pretty big piece this down here was where it went into the ground so I think what we'll do let's see how hard this is to cut off I'll cut away this really wet part here okay we'll put this over here you never know Now it's a perfectly good piece of wood. One of those necessary things you gotta do is rake the um, coals. There we go. More towards the, uh, I need a longer, a longer stick to do this with. More towards the front of the stove. That going nice. Close the um All right. The steam wafting. I don't know if you can see it, but this wafting up the tent pretty good. We got a survival situation. Believe it or not, I was actually hit by a drop of water. I think it, it's either condensation or some water came through the flu. <laughs> I'm living pretty large. Um, though I did go out to take a whiz, and I gotta tell you, 
it is like really cold rain. I mean, that is like really, I don't know if you can hear it, but it was really cold. And here it's actually, it's a, it's a complete joy. Um, you know, really warm, really nice. And the, and the stove is drying out the air. So it's excellent. Uh, but man, that is some cold rain out there. That's some really cold rain. I, I always like when the rain is hitting the canopy, you know, and you know you're protected. It's the same thing with a tarp. And here, bam, 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 hitting the canopy, and you're like, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like giving the other finger to Mother Nature, but I wouldn't um, be so uh, bold. You know, she runs these woods, so I don't want to show disrespect. But it's nice, it's very nice. No problems at all last night with that. Taking the uh, stove out, drying the um, kit, drying that stuff out there. A little bit of wind, a little bit. Blew some leaves up on my shelter and stuff. Heard a tree limb or tree go down in the woods. Maybe they'll hike out if we see it. It'll be cool if we don't, we don't. All right, um, let's pack this stuff up, uh, get a move on it.